Hello everyone, Sam is here from creativetradingsystems.com. Uh, tonight is uh, Friday night, um, June the 24th. I'm making this a small video as a weekly recap. So let's get started. This is uh, the first trade on the 20th June. The week started on Monday 20th. So this is the Panuzi 20 minute chart from 20 minute chart. And it is a short trade. You can see on the left hand side, the sell entry and SL is moved to break even plus. So this is the entry here. Uh, this was an entry here, right? Uh, and then what happened usually, uh, people ask me that, you know, I don't show my losers. So this is how my losers are. Let me show it to you that this was an entry, proper entry. So when I made an entry right here and then my SL was here, then the price start to move a little bit and my I start to move my SL a little bit. And I believe uh, right here, my SL was around maybe five or seven, in between that, five, six, seven pip, when the price went up and took my trade up, right? So I lost here probably five, seven pip, five to seven pip. Now that is not worth making the whole chart and show everyone that this is how I lost. So I was the hell with it. And then I waited to see that, you know, where, you know, maybe it's gonna go even higher and touch these lines here and, uh, and waited for the volume time. And that's where I made an entry again, and that will produce this, okay? This was also an entry and trade closed. So there are several, you know, uh, entries this system provides and uh, some of them, my SL hit, but mostly like five to 10 pip once in a while here, there, and it's not worth even showing. So that's how it is. So this is the first trade, uh, and the second is on the 20th. You can see this one. This was an entry, and this was an entry, and this was an entry. If I had taken this one, my SL wouldn't hit. This one never hit. This one, it wouldn't hit, right? And that's how clean and uh, safe entry. This one, all the way up to 155, 155 pip. This is pound yen, by the way. On the 21st, the same story here. Now, here is the same story. This was an entry here. <clears throat> this was on a break even. This was probably like five or 10 pip loss, right? And then this one created 140 pip trade. See that? That's how it is. This one was positive. This one was positive. This one was positive. Most of the, once in a while, five, 10 pip SL hit, that's it. And that's nothing compared to these 150, 160, 140 pip trades, right? All right, so let's move on. 21st, look at this. This was an entry, SL never got hit. This was an entry, positive. This was an entry, positive. That's Bitcoin, by the way. And um, on the 22nd, you can see here your Nuzi, right? This was the first entry, gone. And my SL was here. I didn't move my SL until it went up. And then it came down. I didn't even move then. And it just went 145. Pound CAD. So you got the idea how the asset, all right? Okay. So let me just go for a little faster. Pound CAD, 20 minute chart on the 22nd, June, 60 pip to the short side. Now, Euro Yen, first entry, beautiful by the book entry, and all the way down, 160 pip. That's what I'm talking about. This is the first entry, good entry. Right, and this is the second entry, might have lose here, maybe 10 pip, 10, 15 pip, if I had taken it, because I was already in the trade and never took this one. And this was a very good entry as well, right? If I, if I didn't have that one, then I would have taken this one, right? But uh, if you know what you're doing, and uh, like yen index, yen index is supposed to get strong and all yen pairs are supposed to go down, and that this is a part of it. You will see all yen pairs now. And look, see, pound yen, also, by the book entry, 70 pip to the downside. USD yen on the 23rd, beautiful entry, 100 pip to the downside. And um, CAD yen, you see, beautiful by the book entry to the downside for 100 pip. And Aussie yen, 70 pip by the book entry. And this was an entry, and then this was an entry, right? And it goes down. I didn't um, uh, move SL un up until here because I'll show you the reason, you know, the, um, the index, the index, the yen index, okay, it's finished. So for example, I made a video the other day and showing that this is the chart. I was expecting that USD yen is gonna drop. This is like a harmonic pattern, you know, butterfly pattern. Uh, this is how it is. 
So it's supposed to be dropping from here. It's already started, right? And 40 minute chart. This is my directional chart. And I take entries from 20 minute chart. Uh, actually it's 40 and 20 brick size, not the time frame. Time frame has nothing to do with these charts. Uh, but the, you know, 40 minute, 20 minute is just the name. All right, so uh, hitting after the extension level, 127 and start dropping. This is how the diagram is, right? So it's supposed to drop and it starts to drop. So I said, you know, let me make the video and then give it to my subscriber and I did. And what happened to this chart is this from here came down, right? So it was here when I said it's gonna drop. This is where I got my entry and I got 100 pip, I just showed you. This is the 100 pip uh, right there. So you start coming down from 36, 68. Slowly, this all bullish, bullish, bullish. All of a sudden, it becomes bearish. My entry, Magic IV system, and then it goes down. And this is the system. I also have an alarm. When the setup is ready, the alarm start beeping. So when it beeps, you see, you don't have to, you know, sit in front of the uh, the, the chart all the time. You just open the charts and put the alarm and you can do things, different things here, there, around the house, watch TV, whatever, and the alarm beeps. When it beeps, then you come and see, and then you wait for only the reversal candle and a couple of red candles, and you open the trade right there, put yourself right there, and it goes down. Simple as that. So last, uh, I mean, yesterday, today, I didn't have it in trade. And uh, I was expecting that Aussie again is gonna drop, but it didn't. So, um, uh, so what the hell with it? And um, what happened is, uh, see, this, these are, uh, let me see. Uh, let me go all the way up to start. Okay, Aussie yen, CAD yen, USD yen, pound yen, euro yen, all to the downside. How come? How come they all go to the downside involving different currencies? But the common currency is yen. And I said that yen is going to get it strong. Let me show you if I have the video. Uh, um, actually, I have a monthly chart. Let me show it to you, that, uh, that one. That are supposed to, you know, this chart is supposed to go from here to here to 64.45, get weaker, right? So all the NPL was going up, and I had almost 15 big trades going to the upside. Then it started to pull back. That's where the yen started getting strong. Let me show you the chart. Whoops, what the heck happened? Oh, right. No, this is USD yen, right? So where is the yen index chart? Uh, let me just open the. Um, Boom. Okay, you see that? This chart from here, it went up all the way here, and then it started this little pullback, little bit drop here. That's where the yen started getting strong and gave me like five big trades uh, on last Thursday. And then probably it's going to come down if we don't go above, you know. Now it came down, broke the, uh, wait, let me show you. Here, see? It broke the 64, um, 14 and went up and testing it right now. If it doesn't go up, then it's gonna drop. Then yen is gonna get strong and then all I'll be shorting all yen pair again. So this is how it is, right? You gotta know what you're doing. Yeah, this is how the weekly chart, my target for wave five, one, two, three, four, all the way wave five was this target was there and it, you know, it hit, then dropped and then it went up second time testing it. And now I think it's gonna be dropping. All right, so this is how it is. Uh, if you like what you saw, go on my website. Let me see if I, yeah. This is my website here. You can come here, you can subscribe here on monthly, or if you wanna learn everything, like uh, SNR level, trend line, and harmonic patterns, and aviate wave, and how to use this, this system with those studies, like you know when you have a harmonic pattern, and how to make an entry using my Magic IB setup. You will see the setup, just like I'm showing you here, that the setup was there, I mean, um, the, 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 the pattern, right? And then start to play out, but I didn't open the trade then, I waited. So missing few pips, 50, 60, 70 pips, it dropped first and then gave me the entry and I still was able to make 100 pips. So missing those 50, 60 pips is much, much, much better than losing 50, 50 pips. So it's the, the game of patience, right? So you see the pattern and then you wait to make sure, confirm that it is going to play out. And if it is playing out and you find your setup, uh, you know, Magic IB setup to make an entry, then we make an entry. 
Similarly, you know, bouncing from a tier or SNR level or uh, aviar wave cam. First, we make sure that it isn't going to make the turn. And once it's made the turn, then we make the entry, all right? So these are the trades. Let me go uh, and show you again. These are, you know, uh, the yen trades are these, and then all the others, you know, pound cat, euro, Bitcoin, that USD yen, when it was going up, this was one of the 140 pip to the upside. Then it makes a turn from the top, and I saw the harmonic pattern is finished, and it's, you know, it's about to drop. That's where I said, okay, I will wait. And I waited, and I got my short entry, and then 100 pip more to the downside. So this is how it is. Again, you want to uh, be a part of it, then go on my website, my, I mean, uh, creativetradingsystems.com, and subscribe. And uh, if you want to learn everything, you go here, one-on-one -on -one coaching. And uh, this is like a 10-hour course. It teaches every, I teach everything over the Zoom, 10-hour, uh, one-hour uh, each session uh, over the month. And you become master of this market, not only this first market, but once you learn this, you will be you know, able to Bitcoin or any you know, uh, cryptocurrency or uh, commodities or... Uh, stocks, you know, uh, uh, index, S&P 500, DAX, they all uh, give you beautiful, beautiful entries, confirmed entries to take. All right. So this is it for now. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.